This conference will now be recorded. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the applications and we have discussed what exactly an application and what is a use, how to create the custom application inside your Salesforce instance we have discussed. Now, today we'll see the concept of objects. We'll see what exactly an object, what is a use, how to create the objects inside our Salesforce instance, we'll see practically in this case. So that already you know that when coming to the object, object represents a table which is used to store the application specific data. In order to store some application specific data or business specific data or personal data or organization specific data, we need some tables. Those tables are also called as objects. Like for example, assume that I'm having a business. So for my business, we are having so many customers. So then how can we store the customer's information? For that one, we need a table, right? Yes. So we would like to create one customer table. In that one, I would like to store the customer data. Data means records. In order to store the records, we need an object. That means we need a table. Those tables are called as objects. So object is nothing but a table which is used to store the application specific data or business specific data or organization specific data. Now, as part of these objects, we have two types of objects in Salesforce. Two types of objects are available in Salesforce. Same story, you know that. When coming to the Salesforce, Salesforce is providing two types of objects. First one is standard objects. Second one, custom objects. First one, standard objects. Second one, custom objects. So these are the two types of objects are available. Standard object means what? Ready-made objects. Standard objects means ready-made objects provided by Salesforce. Standard objects in the sense, ready-made objects which has been given by Salesforce by default as part of Salesforce CRM application. As part of Salesforce CRM application, we have so many ready-made objects are available, ready-made tables are available. Those are called as standard objects. Like what, for example, we have campaign. Campaign is a ready-made object, right? Yes, we haven't created that object that has been given by Salesforce by default. We have lead object, we have account object, we have contact, we have opportunity, we have case, we have solution, we have product, we have price book, we have order, we have contract, contract, we have quote, we have task, we have event, we have document like that we have so many objects are available which has been given by salesforce by default as part of salesforce crm that means by using that salesforce crm we can store our customer data we can store our sales data our service data or marketing data so in order to store that application specific data we are using the various tables so those are called as standard objects those are also called as standard tables or ready-made tables which has been given by salesforce by default now in this case what kind of operations we can perform on these objects not generally table contains what columns table contains some columns then it will be having some records inside this now account object is having some columns that means some fields 
contact object is having its own fields case object is having its own fields that means each and every object is having its own fields by default now can i add some more columns to the table yes according to my business requirement for example i am having the account object that means customer object in that one it is having some columns like as account name rating industry annual revenue phone fax like that now my client asked me i want to store the customer's pan number also my client asked me to store the customer's passport number also driving license number also bank account number also how how can we store that for that one we need some columns right so whatever the original columns that you want we can create that means standard objects can be customizable customizable means what what we can do we can able to add some more columns also can you remove that standard object from salesforce no why because that object is using by salesforce crm application that object is using by sales application or service application or marketing application in this case whenever you come removing the object then automatically the existing sales for crm application functionality will be getting affected for that reason what are the standard objects has been given by salesforce we can customize those objects but we can't remove now i am indicating this we can customize the standard objects but we can't remove the objects from the organization we can't remove those standard objects from the organization we can't remove the standard objects from the organization whatever the standard objects have been given by salesforce those the standard objects we can't remove that will be fixed if you want we can use it if you don't want leave it no problem but we can't remove those standard objects from my organization now in this case here so what are the standard objects has been given by salesforce sometimes these standard objects may not be sufficient these are not suitable you we need some more objects i am developing my banking application as part of my banking application i want different objects like i want customer object i want transaction object i want loan object i want credit card object like that different objects i want but those are not available ready made in this case what are the objects has been given by salesforce if those are not suitable if those are not sufficient we can create our own objects also which are called as custom objects then who can create this objects these objects will be created by the salesforce developer or salesforce administrator yeah. only the salesforce developer or the salesforce administrator is having the rights to create these custom objects a small question sir here yeah can we edit the fields of the standard objects like can we change yeah. the length of the standard fields provided by uh, you know created by salesforce no because here at that time what are the standard objects are available for those are standard object there are some fields has been given by salesforce by default those fields the data types we can't change only the label we can change that's it we can't change the data type we can't change the length of that field also nothing only the label we can change that's it thank you okay now so now in this case when coming to that custom objects what are the standard objects has been given by salesforce if these are standard objects are not suitable if these are not sufficient then at that time we can create our own custom objects also the developer or the administrator can create their own custom objects in order to store their own application specific data their own organization specific data their own business specific data also for that reason we are going to be creating our own objects which are called as custom objects now the developer or the administrator can create their own application or business specific objects their own application or business specific objects called as custom objects custom okay custom objects like for example i want to create my own object here 
like i want to create a customer object i want to create a loan object i want to create a policy object i want to create an employee object i want to create a student object like that here whatever you want we can able to create your own objects also you can give your own name also here okay you can give your own name also so now salesforce is giving some set of ready made objects and along with that we can create our own object also that is called as custom objects so now here in this case now here how can we differentiate whether it is a standard or custom there should be some differentiation right how do we know if all the object names has been listed out then how do we know this is a standard one this is a custom one how can we identify what is the recognition what is the indication that this is standard this is custom in this case when you go to the standard objects these names will be looking like as normal words standard object names are looking like as normal words like as campaign lead account contact opportunity case like that it will be looking like as normal words but when you go to this custom object names what are the custom object names has been created by the developers these custom object names will be post fixing with underscore underscore c like as this is customer underscore underscore c salesforce is going to be indicating this notation loan underscore underscore c policy underscore underscore c employee underscore underscore c student underscore underscore c like that each and every custom object name will be post fixing with the character underscore underscore c then what do you mean by this underscore underscore c this underscore underscore c represents custom represents custom that means this is a custom object so just by looking into the name itself we can understand is it standard or is it custom if the name is looking like as normal words it is standard if the name is post fixing with underscore underscore c then it is a custom so take forward indication directly we can differentiate whether it is a standard object or custom object here so in this case in order to know whether it is a standard object or custom object just we can see this naming convention this is the naming convention following by salesforce standard object names are looking like as normal words and the custom object names are always post fixing with underscore underscore c now in this case here what are the custom objects we have created can we customize this one yes we can customize what are the standard objects has been what are the custom object has been created by the developer or administrator so can we customize in future yes suppose if that object is not required can i remove yes why because who has created that myself because i am the administrator or i am the developer i am the administrator or i am the developer we have created this object we are the owners so as a owner i'm having full rights on this so that what are the custom objects that we have created in the past we can customize and we can remove also because i want to remove that this is not required for me so that i can remove permanently that facility is available over here so that what are the custom objects we have created we can customize we can remove this we can customize or remove the custom objects from the organization if they are no longer needed if they are no longer needed then we can remove those custom objects from the organization now in this case what are the custom objects that we have created in the past if those objects are not required if those objects are no longer needed then we can remove those custom objects from your organization so that facility is available over here so that custom object can be customizable as well as removable also now in this case here 
what are the started objects and custom objects that we have in salesforce that means in salesforce we have two types of objects standard and custom the combination of both standard objects and custom objects is called as yes objects yes means what salesforce yes subject means salesforce object salesforce object means these are the various objects which we are using inside our salesforce ab applications to store the application specific data so that the combination of both the sales standard objects and custom objects is called as yes subjects now so now we are having this yes subjects yes subjects means what the combination of both the standard objects plus custom objects so what are the standard objects and custom objects that we have inside our organization both are combinedly called as yes objects yes objects means salesforce objects these are called as salesforce objects here subjects in the sense salesforce objects okay now so in this case you can raise a question sir how many custom objects we can create how many tables object means what table how many custom tables you can able to create okay inside our organization how many custom objects we can create so in this case salesforce has given some limitation that is called as governance now so whenever we are going to be creating the custom objects there are some limitations are available salesforce has given okay some limitations over here so what are the various limitations have been given by salesforce now let's see upon creating this custom objects if you are using a free developer edition if you are using a free developer edition so inside this a free developer edition okay in free developer edition how many custom objects we can create we can create maximum of 400 custom objects that means 400 tables we can create generally when you go to your real time implementation real time project we will create maximum 200 tables for a big project in the real time we are creating 200 to 250 tables max because managing 250 tables data is very difficult which will be having so much complex functionalities but salesforce is giving the facility to you in free developer it's addition itself they have given the facility to you to create maximum of 400 tables see how how much big applications we can develop by using salesforce free developer edition we can create two real time projects by using salesforce free developer edition but what of capability that what of facilities are available they are not giving 10 object they are not giving 20 objects they are giving the facility to create maximum of 400 custom objects is it not sufficient to develop such big projects by using free developer account yes we can develop some real time implementation through by using the free developer edition as well so in this case by using this free developer edition we inside this free developer edition we can create we can create maximum of 400 custom objects 
we can create maximum of 400 custom objects. If it is unlimited edition, if it is unlimited edition, in unlimited edition, we can create maximum of 2000 custom objects. In unlimited edition, we can create maximum of 2000 custom objects. That means in free developer edition, we are creating 400 custom objects. In unlimited edition, we can create 2000 custom objects. These are the limitations are available here. Whenever we are having the objects, Salesforce is going to be providing. Salesforce is providing some limitations that in free developer edition, we can create maximum of 400 custom objects. In unlimited edition, we can create maximum of 2000 custom objects. These are the limitations has been given by Salesforce by default over here. Okay, now, so in this case, how can we see the objects available inside my organization? To know what are the various to view the objects. What objects are available inside my organization? How can we see? Whenever if you want to see the objects available inside the organization, we have multiple ways are available. Okay, we have multiple ways are available in Salesforce. First one is by using standard navigation. First one is by using standard navigation, we can see how many objects are available inside my organization. That is one. Thing. Second one, by using developer console. Second one, by using developer console also, we can see how many number of objects are available inside my organization. Third one, by using schema builder by using schema builder. This is the third way by using which we can able to see how many number of objects are available inside this organization. These are the various ways are available in Salesforce, which is used to identify, which is used to list out what are the various objects are available in Salesforce, including standard, including custom also. So in order to know what objects are available inside this organization, so we are using this three ways. First way is by using standard navigation. Second way is by using developer console. Third one is by using schema builder. Now, let me go with this navigations one by one. Then we'll see how to create our own custom objects in Salesforce. Now, so by using this as standard navigation, okay, by using this as standard navigation, then what we can do? How can you see the objects available inside my organization? I want to see that. I want to know that. By using this standard navigation, I want to see what objects are available. How can you see? In this case, we have to go to the setup menu. Go to the build menu in the left panel. And then click on create. Click on objects objects in order to see see the standard objects so the custom objects to be the custom objects we are using this navigation suppose if you want to see standard object names then we can go to the setup menu go to the building menu in the left panel click on customize here we can able to see standard object names Standard object names in the plural part. These are the two ways are available in order to see the objects by using standard navigation. Then how can we see the objects available inside my organization by using the standard navigation? Now let's see practically. Let me go to my Salesforce instance. Now, I want to see what standard objects are available inside my organization, what custom objects are available inside my organization. By using this standard navigation, I want to know what objects are available over here. So click on this setup menu. Click on the setup menu. 
go to the build menu in the left panel go to the build menu in the left panel click on create previously we have used option of apps now we are using the option called as objects if you want to create the object then you can use this option if you want to view the option objects also we have to use the same option click on objects and then we can see what custom objects are available over here. Here it is indicating no custom objects has been defined, so there is no objects are available. Now, in this case, in order to see that all the custom objects which you have created in the past, then just you can able to go to this build menu, click on customize, so the create and the objects. Then we can see what custom objects you have created in the past. So it is clearly indicating some information. Custom objects are database table that allows you to store data specific to your organization in Salesforce. And then you can use custom objects to extend the Salesforce functionality or to build the new application functionality. That means upon developing your own custom applications to store that application specific data, we need some tables which we are creating by using the feature called as custom object. But we don't have any custom objects right now. It is listing out empty because here we haven't created any custom objects as of now. Inside the organization, it is listing out it as empty. Now, if you want to see the standard objects, simply go to the build menu, click on customize. Here it is indicating the application object names in the plural format, like as campaigns, leads, accounts, DNB company, contact notes, opportunities, path, code, forecast, case, like that these are all are the object names over here, which has been listed out, have listed out by Salesforce, okay, which has been given by Salesforce by default. These are the standard objects which will be representing in the form of plural format, and along with that, we are having the custom objects also. This is one way. In order to see the objects, we are using this one way here. Second way is by using developer console. Okay, second way is by using developer console. How can we see the objects available inside my organization by using this developer console? How to go to the developer console editor? You know that concept. Simply we can go to that your Salesforce instance. Go to your name on the top right corner. Expand it. Click on the link called as a developer console. Okay, click on the link developer console. Now, inside this developer console editor, when you go to the file menu, here you will be having an option called as file menu on the top. Expand this file menu. Now, I want to see, I want to open the existing one. I don't want to create new one. I want to open the existing one. What objects are available, I want to see. So click on open. It is providing a dialog box over here. Okay, it is providing a dialog box. In this dialog box, it is indicating what you want me to open, what you want me to see. So in this case, you want to see the classes, you want to see the triggers, you want to see the visual force pages, visual force components, objects, or what? What you want to see? I want to see the objects. So simply click on this objects link. Okay, click on this objects link. Once you click on this object links, now in the second panel, we can see all the object names. These are the various objects that are available in Salesforce. This is the accepted event relation, account, account to change event, account to clean info, account to contact role, account to feed, account to study. Like that, so many objects are available. These are the various objects that are available inside this organization. If you want to see the fields available, if you want to see the columns available inside this table, just double click on this account object name, it will list out the column names over here. You can see all the columns inside the table. ID column, is a deleted column, master record ID column, name column, type column, parent ID column, billing street, billing city, like that all the column names you can able to see one by one, one by one, one by one. 
this is the way we can able to see the objects available inside the organization by using the developer console by using the developer console we can see what objects are available inside the organization also and along with that we can see what fields are also available inside this organization the facilities are available and the third one schema builder during the schema builder concept we'll see okay how can we verify this how can we see what objects are available schema builder is a separate feature given by salesforce we'll see during the schema builder concept so these are the three ways are available in order to see the objects available inside my organization. So what objects are available? What objects I have created in the past? I want to list out that. So at that time, we can use the help of these three features. Now, so now here in this case here, whenever if you want to list out the objects available inside the organization, we are having this uh, three ways are available. By using standard navigation also, we can do that. By using developer console, by using schema builder also. Okay, now. So in this case, how can we create the custom object in Salesforce? Creating the custom object. How to create a custom object in Salesforce? Now let's see practically in this case. Creating a custom object. How can we create a custom object in Salesforce? Whenever I'm creating a custom object, then what will happen internally in the background? And how can we create those objects? through user interface without writing any code, you see practical. Now, let's see practically in this case, how can we create it? How can we see the information? So whenever we are creating a custom object here, what will happen? Let me explain the concept. For example, I want to create a custom object here. I want to create a custom object. I'm giving the name. I'm giving the name as customer. Object means what? Table, right? Yes. So when coming to the Salesforce, whenever we are going to be creating an object, Salesforce will create a table internally. Salesforce will create a table. Object means table, simple concept. So Salesforce will be creating a table. So what is the table name? The table name is customer underscore underscore. C. That means your object name, what are the name that are given for your object. So it is going to be giving this name as customer underscore underscore C. That means each and every object name will be close to fixing with underscore underscore C. That means internally it will be creating a table with the name customer underscore underscore C. So in this case, it is creating this object over here. It is creating a table. They hit the table over here, customer underscore underscore C. Underscore underscore C table will be created. Now tell me, is this table is an empty table? Just now I'm creating the object. That means just now I'm creating the table. Is it an empty? No. Salesforce is adding some columns inside that by default. I haven't added any columns right now. Salesforce will be adding some columns. What columns it will add? Salesforce is adding five columns inside this table by default. Salesforce will be adding five columns inside this table by default here. What are those columns now? Let me explain. It is adding an ID column. Second one, it is adding a name column. Third one, owner column. Fourth one, created by. 
and the fifth one last modified by and the fifth one it is adding one more column that is called as last modified by these are the five columns will be given by salesforce by default that means what whenever i'm going to be creating the object the, the specific name salesforce is creating a table internally and in that table salesforce will be giving five columns by default what are those columns id column name column owner column created by last modified by these are the five columns will be given by salesforce by default so whenever i'm creating an object inside my salesforce instance by using the user interface by giving a specific name then salesforce will create a table and in that table it will be adding five columns by default okay it will be adding five columns by default those are id name revoner created by and the last modified by these are the five columns will be given by salesforce by default over here now so inside this table it will be adding that five columns over there default columns what are those default columns it will add by default it will be adding the id column name column owner column created by column last modified by column these are the five columns has been given by salesforce by default in each and every object and along with that here along with that it is preparing suppose here once the table is ready with the columns then how can we manage the records in the table what we can do we can insert some records right we can update some records right we can delete some records right we can view the records right yes we can perform all these operations once the table is ready in the table we can insert some records we can modify the records we can delete the records we can view the record then how can we do this one for that one we need some user interfaces right now these user interfaces are called as what tab it is providing a tab also that means it's providing a tab what is the name of the tab you know that object names are in singular format tab names are in plural format what is my tab name customers because my object name is customer but tab name is customers so it is going to be creating a tab also that means it is providing the user interfaces it is providing the user interfaces by default and along with that it is providing business logic also okay along with that it is providing business logic also It's providing the business logic here in the form of a class in the form of a class so what is that class name that class name is customer underscore underscore c okay customer underscore underscore c whatever the table name whatever the class name is available both are same this is comes under development part basically here so we'll see during that uh, development concept during that orm concept i will show you okay what exactly the class names how to see these class names also so now here in this case what happened whenever i'm creating an object salesforce will create a table automatically by default in the table it will be adding five columns what are those five columns id name owner created by last modified by these are the five columns will be given by salesforce and along with that to manage the records inside the table salesforce is providing a tab also which contains the various graphical user interfaces to manage your object records like to insert the records to update the records to delete the records to view the records to perform the operations whatever the user interfaces are required all the user interfaces are available in the form of a tab the tab also will be giving by salesforce by default and along with that it is providing the business logic also in the form of a class this is the internal concept will be happening by salesforce generally what we need to do in the other programming language in other programming languages table we have to design manually by using the database program like as sql plsql user interfaces we have to design manually 
business logic how to implement anybody so to implement this a small functionality to create some a card some a table and to design some user interfaces to implement the business logic will take minimum some okay one day time if you are an experienced person it will take some half day time minimum some four to five hours but in salesforce we can do this entire thing by using in wow one minute within one minute we can do that it won't take one minute also if the internet access is a bit fast then we can able to do this operation within some fraction of seconds also because we no need to implement all these things just we have to create the object then automatically the salesforce will be creating the table also it is providing the business logic also it is providing the user interface also everything has been given by salesforce so from now my side so do we have any risk right now do we need to write more lines of code no this is how salesforce is reducing the coding part this is how salesforce is reducing the coding part over here so whenever we are creating an object salesforce is going to be providing a table it is providing a tab it is providing the business logic also what is the difference between owner and created by in this uh, when it now, is created in this case owner in the sense okay currently who is the owner of the record here Okay, currently who is the owner of the record? Created by means what? The person who has created that record here. The person who has created that record, that person is the owner over here. Okay, owner will be keep on changing, but the created by will be fixed always. Like for example, let me complete general scenario. Assume that we have a two-wheeler vehicle. Okay, we have a two-wheeler vehicle. Like uh, some Hyundai item. Item. So who is that created by person? Created by an organization. Who is that organization? Hyundai. Okay. Hyundai Limited. Hyundai Private Limited, whatever, anything. Now, initially, who is the owner of the, the Hyundai Limited only? Because here they haven't sold out that bike. Still, that will be managing by that company itself. Today, I went to the showroom, I have purchased that bike. Sorry, I purchased that vehicle, the I-10 car, okay, I-10 car. So I purchased that car here. Then who is the owner now? Myself. So the user will become the owner, right? Yes, right. Now, okay. so now I am the owner over here. Suppose, for example, assume that two years back I have purchased this vehicle. Since two years, I'm using this vehicle. Now. Today we got the latest model of this Hyundai cars in the market. So I'm planning to buy the latest model, like some I-20. So what about this I-10 car that I have, I would like to sold out. So I'll sell out this car. One of the person, Nagarjuna has purchased this car here. Okay, Nagarjuna has purchased my car here. So I already have used that car. Previously, I was, the, I was the owner, but right now, Nagarjuna is the owner. So now, who is the owner right now? Nagarjuna has purchased that car. So he is that owner, Nagarjuna. Nagarjuna is the owner. Yeah. So created by whom? Hyundai Limited. Owner. Created by will be fixed, and the owner will be keep on changing. Nothing but the user who currently okay created that record, that person will be the owner. So the created by will be fixed always, but the owner will be keep on changing. Okay, owner will be keep on changing. We can transfer the record from one owner to another owner also. That facility is available. It is a difference between owner and created by. Okay, now. So in this case, these are few fields sir, has been given by Salesforce by default. Yeah, tell me. Sir. Sir, hi, sir. So I need a bit of uh, clarification over here, sir. So let's say we created the customer uh, underscore C as a uh, as a uh, object so the uh, the fields like id name or owner created by is the it is same but if i want to create an object like a salary so what is hmm. the uh, what are the objects sir like what are the no, fields the same. same it will be giving the same five fields again suppose for example if i'm creating an object with the name some salary salary so Salesforce is going to be creating, suppose I'm creating an object with the name some salary. Salesforce will be creating a table with the name salary underscore underscore C. 
inside this table also it is providing the same five columns as it is it is providing the fields as it is like as id name owner created by and the last modified by and then it is providing the user interface also nothing but tab what is the tab name salaries and what is the business logic here business logic that means class what is the class name salary underscore underscore c these are the columns will be getting created automatically here so whenever you are creating any object in salesforce with any name by default salesforce is providing the five columns by default id name owner created by last modified by if you want to add some more columns then you can add that will be the later that will be the next concept over here that's what i have given this information to you what are the custom object that we have we can able to customize we can add some more columns also and we can remove that custom objects also in future let's say okay. if i don't want the name column so can i remove it sir if i want yeah we can make it hide we can make it hide generally id we are not preparing salesforce is preparing owner also preparing by salesforce created by also managing by salesforce last modified by also managing by salesforce that means these are the four fields will be managing by salesforce only the name value we are providing if you don't want to provide that name then we can make it as a auto number there is no option is available we'll see that concept also but we cannot okay. remove it right it, it, it is there remove. but uh, uh, we can yes. hide it we can hide it okay because this is the standard right that's what your standard options we can't remove standard option we can customize but we can't remove that okay we can make it hide if you don't want to display this one we can make it hide but we can't remove this one. okay okay sir thank you So now in this case, whenever we are going to be creating a custom object in Salesforce by using the user interface, Salesforce is going to be performing all this operation. That means Salesforce will create a table, which will be post fixing with underscore underscore c, and then inside that table it is providing the five columns by default, like ID column, name column, owner column, created by, and last modified by. and then to manage the records inside this table it is providing the user interfaces also in the form of a tab and along with that it is providing the business logic also in the form of a class that is business logic class name and the table name will be both will be exactly similar and the tab name will be in plural form here okay now this is the way this is the internal concept of salesforce here whenever we are creating this object then how can we create that custom object in salesforce now let's see practically in this case so uh, a one question sir like usually the created by will be the admin right uh, or the developer right? admin or the developer yes Now, so now in this case, how can we create these custom objects, right? Now let's see practical. Creating the custom object. Whenever we are creating the custom objects, we have two ways are available in Salesforce. We have two ways to create custom objects. In order to create the custom objects in Salesforce, we have two ways are available. The first way is. the first way is by using standard navigation by using standard navigation is the first way second one by using schema builder by using schema builder as part of salesforce we have two ways are available in salesforce in order to create the custom objects first one is a standard navigation second one is schema builder how to create the object through schema builder we'll see through schema during the schema builder concept that is the next concepts over here during the schema builder we'll see how to create the custom object and then now today we'll see how to create the custom object by using standard navigation so how to create this custom object by using the standard navigation now let's see practically and then we'll be providing all these three layers are not that means we'll be providing the 
back end nothing but table will be providing the tab and the business logic are not okay we'll see the concept practically today then how to create this custom object now let's see practically here okay so whenever if you want to create the custom objects then we have to use the navigation over here we have to go to the setup menu go to the building menu in the left panel click on create click on objects and then we have to use an option called as new custom object okay we have to use an option called as new custom object from there we can able to create a new custom object inside your organization so now whenever if you want to create a new custom object we have to follow this navigation how to do that now let's see practically in this case now for example i want to create a custom object here i want to create a custom object i want to create a custom object with the name some customer then what will happen in this case it will be creating a table what is the table name customer underscore underscore it is providing a tab what is the tab name customers it is providing the business logic that means class what is that class name customer underscore underscore C. then how to create this custom object inside your salesforce instance by using this standard navigation now let's see practically in this case now so how can we create this custom objects now let's see practically and then how can we manage the record now let's see practically also in this case now let's see. so let's go to that setup menu go to the building menu in the left panel click on create click on objects Here I'm not customizing existing one. I'm creating something new. What you are creating objects. So click on objects. Click on objects. So now whenever if you want to create the custom objects, we have two ways. First one by using this standard navigation. Second one by using schema builder. Schema builder I don't want to use right now because during the schema builder concept, I will show you how to do that. Then you will get the clarity. What is the difference between the creating the object by using standard navigation schema builder? Because schema builder is having some side effects. Schema builder is having some drawbacks. If I'm creating the object by using schema builder, there are some drawbacks. We'll see those drawbacks during schema builder concept. We'll see how to do that as well. Each and every concept we'll see in detail with practical. Now, now I want to create a custom object here. So click on new custom object button. Now it is providing the user interface to enter the details to create a custom object here. For example, I want to create an object with the name customer. I want to create an object with the name customer. Now, now it is asking you to specify the details, specify the label label and then plural label here so now in order to create a new custom object here we have to specify the label and the plural label it is indicating some example account accounts now tell me this label is for what singular label is for what plural label is for what it is indicating like as account it is indicating like as accounts that means what this is singular this is plural that means this is object name this is tab name that already you know that so now object names are always in singular format tab names are in plural format object names are in singular format and the tab names are in plural format so that label is to specify your object name and then plural label is used to specify your tab name with it which, tab, which name you want me to create the tab so here i'm indicating this label i'm indicating the label like as customer so now the plural label I'm indicating like as customers, nothing but singular label and the plural label here. That means singular label is for object name and the plural label is for tab name with which name you want me to create the tabs. Now, specify the description. Okay, specify the description. 
I'm indicating this one. This object is used to store all the customer details. I'm indicating some description about this object. That means what is the purpose? Why we are creating this object? I'm indicating this whole information. Go to the description. We can specify the comment. What are the comment? What are the description that you want? We can provide that. And then we can come to that optional features section. Okay, optional features section. Here it is having four checkboxes are available. Allow reports, allow activities, track field history, and allow in charter groups. Then what do you mean by these checkboxes here? Each and every checkbox is nothing but a separate topic. It's a separate concept. Every checkbox. Okay, allow reports. That means what? Now once subject has been created, once the records has been stored inside this table, in future, if you want to generate some reports by collecting these records, that means what are the records are there inside my customer table tomorrow or after some time if you want to display these records in a report then please allow me to generate some reports also for that reason we are using allow reports allow reports option is used to inform to the sales force please allow me to generate some reports based on the records available inside this object okay now, during the report this concept, we'll see how can we generate the reports also. Everything in, in detail, we'll see. Second one, allow activities. What do you mean by activities? Activities are nothing but some reminders. Like, for example, if you want to wake up in the early morning, like as 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, then we are adding some reminders. We are adding some alarms inside our mobile, right? If you want to wake up by 5 o'clock, we are putting the alarm at 4 o'clock. Or we are going to be putting the alarm at three o'clock because keep on snoozing, snoozing, snoozing. Finally, the people will wake up by five o'clock. So that we are adding some alarms, which will be keep on reminding you, boss, you have a work today, so please wake up, please wake up, please wake up. The reminder is going to be keep on reminding you regarding the task, regarding the operation. Like the similar way, if you want to add some reminders, if you want to add some alarms inside your Salesforce instance, which will remind you with some pop-up message which will remind you with a dialogue message then we can go with that option called as allow activities next track field history that means suppose for example once this customer table has been created inside the table i'm storing some records i'm creating one record yesterday i have created a record and today when you see the record some details has been modified somebody has modified my record then i want who is that modification who did that modification which person has modified my record? Why they have modified? When they have modified? What date they have modified? What time they have modified? What columns they have modified? What new values they have given? Everything I want track. I want some tracking mechanism on my records. Once a record has been getting created inside the table, I want a tracking mechanism which will be tracking, which will be keep on watching like as a CC camera which will be keep on watching like as a CC camera. If anybody has modified your record without your permission, they will collect that information it is storing inside the database. So this is the person who did the modification of your record and so and so date and so and so time. These are the columns information he has modified. Everything will be tracking by Salesforce here internally. For that one, we have to enable this option called as track field history. If you want to send that tracking information through some charter message, through some notification, then select the checkbox, allow in charter group. That means if anybody has modified your record, then that modification details it will track and that information will be sending to the people through a email notification through by using a charter message. For that one, we are using an option called as allow in charter groups. These are the four options are available. These options are separate concepts. When moving forward, we'll see each and every concept one by one, one by one, one by one. Okay, now. Next one, deployment status section. So what is this deployment status section? Deployment status section is indicating currently what is the status of this object. Whether this object is ready to use or object is still in construction stage here. To indicate that we are having two options, in development and then deploy. In development means what? This object is still in construction stage. This object is not yet created. This is not ready to use. So please don't create any records inside that table. 
this object cannot be accessible by the users they can't create any record inside this suppose if it is a deployed status then only it is going to be indicating to the users they can create the record that means this object is ready to use this object is ready to use so in order to indicate whether this object is ready to use or not okay we are going to be using this option deployment status like as in development or deployed and then next to one the last section object creation options section okay object creation options section so what is this option over here what it will do in this action in this section we have two options are available first one add notes and attachments related list that means what once the table has been getting created upon creating the record inside this table you want me to add the attachment option or not like for example if you want to send an email notification to your friend or to the hr person of your company then we are adding some attachments also right i'm adding my profile as an attachment my resume as an attachment like the similar way once a record once a new customer record has been created inside this customer table if you want to add some attachment then we need this option add the notes and attachments so we can add some attachments also so what are the records we have created inside this object in future if you want to add any attachments for these records then we need this option okay i had the notes and attachments related list right now i'm adding this and the last one the most important checkbox over here launch a new custom tab wizard after saving this custom object so what is this checkbox here now upon creating this object upon creating this object you want this tab or not nothing but user interfaces are not you want this user interfaces are not so if you want the user interface then select the checkbox launch a new custom tab wizard that means please create the table once a table is ready then create a tab also create the user interfaces also so with that user interfaces we can manage the records very easily i don't want to create that user interfaces manually by my own please create the user interfaces also for me here i will use those user interfaces to manage the records so in this case whenever we are going to be creating the object if this last checkbox has been selected then only tab will be created or else tab will not be created here okay so if you want the tab along with your object then we have to select the option called as launch a new custom tab wizard after saving the custom object if this checkbox has been selected then only tab will be created if the checkbox is not selected tab will not be created only table and business logic will be created tab will not be created okay now so these are the options specify the object label and the plural label that means tab name and the description select this optional features or sections or checkboxes allow reports allow activities track field history allow in charter groups and select the deployment status or section as deployed by default it is selecting that next go to the object recreation options or section and then select that checkbox launch a new custom tab wizard after saving the custom object if you want the tab then you can add it if you don't want the tab then leave it no problem then it will create only the table to create the business logic user interfaces will not be available to you at that time and then after that click on save button once you click on save button it will ask you to select the tab style for this tab what style you want me to select over here like for example when you go to this object it is having some different styles are available like for example when i select this account object account tab it is having a different style the background color and then this particular image here when i select this case as it is having a different background color different image when i select the solutions a different background color and the different image will be available over here so like the similar way whenever i'm selecting this whenever once you click on this customer tab then what style has to be get visible which style you want to apply so that select that style over here it is indicating the tab style 
So now click on this icon. Click on this called as lookup icon. Click on this lookup icon. Select the tab style. Salesforce is giving so many styles to you. These are the various styles has been given by Salesforce. From this one, select any of the style, whatever you want. What about the color you like? What about the color and image combination you like? Select that style. No problem. Anything. Salesforce has given so many styles to you by default here. Now, so customer. So now I would like to customer means a person. So I'm selecting like as presenter. Like a presenter is a having customer symbol, nothing but person symbol. So I'm selecting this one, presenter. I would like to use this tab style here. You can select any tab style, whatever you want. Click on that next button. Now make the tab to be get visible to all the profile users by selecting the visible checkbox. That means it will be having the default on. That means whatever the tab we are creating, apply the tab visible to all the profile users here. By default, it is having default on. Now click on next. That means I want to display this object to all the users. Click on next. This tab to be visible in which applications in all the applications so that select the checkbox include tab by default it will be selecting that we don't need to select that here. Now click on save button. Click on save button. As of now what are the tabs are available on the tab bar we are having up to reports and dashboards now click on save button. Once you click on save button, a new object has been created successfully. What is my object name? It is indicating object API name is customer underscore underscore C. This is the table name. This is the table name which has been created by Salesforce. Inside this table, it is providing the standard columns. What columns? ID. ID is a common column which will not be visible. And then we have name column. Okay. We have the name column. We have owner column. Created by last modified by five columns will be given by Salesforce by default. So it is creating a table. What is my table name? My table name is customer underscore underscore C. This is the table name because it is a custom table here. Custom object. So it is having that column table name as customer underscore underscore C. So once a table is ready, how to manage the records inside this? It is providing the tab also. On your tab bar, we are having the tab also. Customers tab. So click on this customers tab. Manage the records as it is. Same story, no change. Insert, update, delete, view, everything. Now let me show you that. Click on customers tab. Click on customers tab. Then if you want to store some customer record, then click on new button. Same story, no change. I'm creating a new customer like as I'm indicating some Murali Krishna. A new customer we have received. Now click on save button. Once you click on save, record is saving here. That means business logic is also available. Upon click on the save button, if the record is saving, that means there is some business logic, right? Yes. So I want to modify this one or I want to delete this one. But I want to clone this one. Everything is available ready made here. We no need to do that. This is one record we have created, Murali Krishna. I want to create some more. Click on new button. I'm creating one more record like uh, some Rakesh Kumar. Click on save and new. I want to create some more. I want to create some more records over there. Like I'm going to be creating like uh, some Praveen Kumar. Praveen Kumar. Click on save. So we have created the records also over there. Sir, if I want to create some more fields in a customer uh, object, so should I do it, sir? Yes, we can create that. In the, that will be the next concept. How to create the fields? Fields will be the next concept. Okay. We have created the application. We are creating the object now. Next concept is fields. How to create the columns inside this table? How to create the field? That is the next concept over there. Okay. Okay. One by one. Once the field is also ready, then we'll go forward with the business logics, validations, formulas, everything we'll see, security concepts, everything we'll see one by one. Okay, now. So now this is the way. Whenever I'm going to be creating the object, by default, all the three layers have been given by Salesforce. It has created a table, it has created the tab also, it is providing the business logic also internally by default. All the three layers are available. This is the background story of object creation. Okay, now in this case here, you can raise a question. Sometimes the client will be raising a requirement like this. 
I want to create a table. That's it. I don't want tab. Klein said that, okay, he want a table in order to store some records. It may be related to loan also, whatever, anything. He want a table, but he don't want tab. Because he is having some separate tool. He is having some separate other alternative mechanisms. With that one, he will manage the records here. So he don't want the tab. Now tell me how to create an object without a tab. What we can do? How to create an object without tab? That already told you. Upon creating the object, there is a last checkbox. What is that? Launch a new custom tab wizard after creating the custom object. If the checkbox is selected, then only tab will be created. If the checkbox is not selected, tab will not be created. Then how to do that? Now let's see practically. But how do we access it, sir? Like if we want, if we don't know where it is, uh, how do we access that? How how can the Through programming. access it? Through programming. By using programming, we can manage the records. By using Apex programming, or by using some data loader, by using some third party tools, by using integrations, we can manage the records. So that we have to go to developer right? console for that and. Uh, ah, right, right. Yes, right. Yes. By using developer console, we can manage the record by writing some code by using Apex programming. Okay. So now let's see. How can we create an object without a tab? For example, I want to create an object here with the name some branch. With the name some branch. I don't want the tab, only the table I want here. So now, Without the tab, if you want to manage the records, if you want to insert some records, update some records, delete some records, then we have to use programming. Through programming, we can use that. Or through Visual Force pages, we can use that. Okay? Multiple ways are available. We'll see the next concepts here. D database the concepts also we can do. By using data loader also we can do. Integration also we can use. Everything. Without using user interfaces also, we can manage the records. Okay? By using programming, we will do that. By using... Admin also we can do with the help of data loader concept. Okay, I want to create an object with the name some branch. How can we do that? Without a tab. Simply what we can do, click on this setup menu. Go to the build menu in the left panel. Click on create. Click on objects. Objects. As of now, we have created one object with the name customer. I want to create one more. So click on new custom object. What is the name that you want to provide? I want to give the name as some branch. Okay, branch. Plural label I'm indicating like as branches. Okay, branches. I'm indicating the description. This object is used to store all the branches of our organization. In order to store all the branch details, okay, all the branch details of our organization. For my organization, we are having so many branches are available. All the branches information I would like to store somewhere so that I'm creating this table. Now, select the checkboxes, allow reports, allow activities, Track field history, allow in chart groups. Same, same story. Now deployment status will be deployed. And then object creation options section. Here I'm not selecting the last checkbox because that already told you if this checkbox is selected, then only tab will be created. If this checkbox is not selected, tab will not be created for you. Only table and the business logic will be created. Tab will not be created. User interfaces will not be created for you. How can we do that here? Now click on save button. I'm selecting notes and attachment. Last checkbox I'm not selecting over here. Now click on save. Automatically table will be getting created over here. 
table has been created with the name branch underscore underscore c it is having the five columns also id column common name column owner column created by last modified by these are the five columns will be giving the sales force by default but it is not adding any tab over here. tab will not be created okay tab will not be created for this object over here. This is how we can create the objects. Depends upon the customer requirement. If the customer wants object with a tab, then we can go with this by selecting the last checkbox. Sometimes customer will raising the requirement. I don't want the tab. I don't want user interface. Just I want a table. That's it. At that time, go with that second navigation which we have discussed. Okay, last don't last don't check select that last checkbox. Okay, add a new custom tab wizard. Okay, after saving the custom object if the custom object has been nothing but if the custom object has been created then what you want to do you want me to create the tab wizard or not if you want select the checkbox or else don't select the checkbox. these are the two use cases here these are the two cases as part of object creation like that how many objects we can create 400 objects inside our organization we can create as of now how many we have created two still we can create 398 objects we can create inside this this is how we are creating the objects of your salesforce instance okay this is the concept of object creation now in the next session we'll see how to create the tabs how to create the tabs what exactly the tabs what are the various types of tabs available in salesforce we'll see in next session next session will be on monday again okay if you are available on sunday also no problem i will take up the session tomorrow let me know your availability no sir please not on